And Amazon has started being very strange on social media lately. Very mad. There's something mad. something is going on. And actually, there was reporting today that came out that showed that this is actually coming from the top. It's Jeff Bezos who was saying that he wanted Amazon to be more aggressive in pushing back against sort of the claims that they're, it's bad to work at Amazon, um, which is a very interesting strategy that has gone incredibly poorly. <laughs> For them. Oh yeah, like the the one about workers pissing in bottles, where they were like, "Oh, no one would work there. No one would be willing to work here if we made them do that." But like, it's already been documented right. by yeah. reporters, and not like crazy socialist reporters, like normal ones. Right. Normal, and I just want to say, while well, we have this Dave Clark tweet yeah, up, we're gonna go um, that. Yeah. Great so so this guy is sort of the CEO of like the the retail sort of side um, and but he played a huge role in the logistics infrastructure that Amazon has. So he played a big role in setting up a lot of these warehouses and actually his nickname, he has said this before in years past, he got the nickname of the sniper um, because he would hide in warehouses and try to catch people who were slacking um, to fire them. So this guy sucks. Like, he really sucks. He's not Jeff Bezos, but he is like, if anybody has f responsibility for the working conditions in these warehouses, he is one of those people. Um, and so it's very interesting that he felt sort of that he was okay to start making claims about Amazon being a good place to work, which is what the, this tweet um, yeah. did. Yeah, let's go. Let's look at this tweet. And yeah, he he said this about himself that he called he acknowledged he was called the sniper. Yes. He yeah, he has sociopath. in the past. Dave Clark, the guy we were just talking about. I welcome Senator Sanders to Birmingham and appreciate his push for a progressive workplace. I often say we are the Bernie Sanders of employers, but that's not quite right because we actually deliver a progressive workplace. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. For our constituents. <laughs> oh, sorry. He also, dude, f f hire someone to, like, write your tweets out better so that they flow <laughs> and they stop. You can do the plus tweets. Trust me, I just discovered this, and I'm extremely online, so I get it. But um, because we actually deliver a progressive workplace for our constituents, colon, a $15 minimum wage, health care from day one, career progression, and a safe and inclusive work environment. So if you want to hear about a $15 an hour and health care, Senator Sanders will be speaking downtown. But if you would like to make at least $15 an hour and have good health care, Amazon is hiring. I like how you kind of read that in a mean girl's voice. <laughs> that's the voice that it should be read in, like yeah. uh -huh. full on Regina George. First of all, the $15 minimum wage thing was there was a li literally an act, right? Called like the Bezos Act. The Stop Bezos Act. Stop Bezos Sanders. Act. Yeah. Sanders, Sanders like really agitates these people. Yeah. They like really, it, there's a really reason. There's a reason this meltdown started happening when Sanders yeah. said he was going to go to Alabama to support the union. Like, you know, you can say what you will about Sanders or whatever, but the truth is, you know, in the in the response from the corporations, which is they start losing it when he yeah. makes a move like this. Yep. Also, thanks for sharing the article about it, the Business Insider <laughs> article about it. Uh, like d Mr. Clark, uh, it's kind of weird, but again, he's not so good on. Do you think that there must be like so many Amazon consultants who are like, get Clark away from his laptops? Well, the, I mean, the interesting thing that came out today in an article that Vox published, um, they have a, a reporter who's just on the Amazon beat pretty much. And it turns out that actually the tweets that I'm sure we'll get to that were sent from Amazon News, which is the company's sort of PR arm, um, were seen as so outside the bounds of what's normal that the software engineers at Amazon started flagging it and assuming that maybe uh. someone had gotten access to the account who wasn't authorized to do it. Because this was just, you know, the actual sort of team that understood how this works yeah. were like, this is so insane um, th that these <laughs> tweets are being made and posted um, by executives and by the company that something, we, maybe we got hacked or something. Um, so yeah, totally. I think going forward, Dave Clark is, uh, yeah. being, his password yeah. is being withheld from him. I know. And his password is probably password, honestly, if That's we're being true. honest. Yeah. Let me just show this one um, other thing that, again, they're really... Um, totally shameless about this in recent years amazon has advocated for increasing the federal minimum wage to 15 dollars an hour highlighting in the research that the current minimum wage sits at 725 an hour a level unchanged since 2009 the longest stretch without an increase and again yes and that is because they were forced to do that 
And can I just add something yeah, about sure. this? Because this is like one of the things that drives me the most insane about how people talk and report on Amazon, um, which is people sort of take this $15 starting wage that Amazon offers at its facilities um, and they compare it to like fast food starting wages. So they compare it to like McDonald's and they're like, see how much better Amazon is than McDonald's. Amazon is not a fast food job. Amazon is a warehouse and logistics job um, with all the physical strain and injuries and dangers and exhaustion that come with that. Um, and it's not like a conspiracy theory. It's not unclear. It, the studies are very obvious and straightforward on this, that Amazon pays less than the prevailing wage in its industry. You know, other warehouses pay more. Amazon is paying less than average. And actually, when Amazon comes to town, when it builds a facility in a county, wages at other warehouses in that county go down. Um, and so Amazon is dragging wages down. People are sort of, they take this $15 wage as if Amazon is progressive in some way. Um, it is paying the bare minimum it needs to pay to attract workers. Um, and so the fact that people sort of compare this to actual minimum wage jobs is just a complete misunderstanding of what this work entails. And also buying hook, line, and sinker, Amazon's own PR on this, which is they want you to compare it to those jobs. They right. don't want you to think of it as a logistics job, which is usually unionized and has benefits right. um, far beyond what these jobs have. And the Stop Bezos Act that stood for Stop Bad Employers by Zeroing Out Subsidies Act. So that's mm -hmm. what that's what Bernie worked on. And of course, Ro uh, Kana. Um, what was it that they said that was so dishonest that it the sparked? pissing in bottles one? OK. So, so it was a reply to Mark Pocan, who's a representative who co-chairs the Labor Caucus in Congress. Yeah, I mean, and just to explain to your listeners, like Mar the representative was calling out Amazon for union busting and also mentioned that workers at Amazon pee in bottles, uh, which is based on reporting that a British journalist, James Bloodworth, did where he went undercover at a warehouse in the UK a few years ago and found that workers were doing that. Um, and so that's sort of where it's famously known. But Amazon by responded to Mark directly on Twitter and said, you don't really believe the pissing in bottles thing, right? Amazon management knows its workers urinate in bottles and even defecate in bags in order to save time. Internal company documents leaked to me reveal. I mean, we have it from multiple sources. Um, I don't remember the blog, but it was like this old guy who was actually defending working at Amazon, although, you know, maybe he was actually some other guy with an agenda, but I don't think so. And he was like, yeah, I had to relieve myself in a bottle on my delivery shift, but it's fine. I'm old. I'm lucky to have this job. Like we have multiple sources telling us this. Right. I know. I yeah. Was, if yeah. you just go on Reddit to the Reddits where drivers for Amazon sort of congregate and post, like you, you'll find hundreds of comments about this. It's just understood that this is part of being a delivery driver for Amazon is that you have no access to bathrooms and also no time to find one because you're time down to the second. Um, and so, yes, it was very strange that Amazon sort of dared journalists to find proof of this because you don't have to even be a journalist to find proof of this. Right. So Mark Pocan, the representative, tweets out, paying workers $15 an hour doesn't make you a progressive workplace when you union bust and make workers urinate in water bottles. And Amazon News tweets back, uh, you don't really believe the peeing in bottles thing, do you? If that were true, nobody would work for us. The truth is that we have over a million incredible employees around the world who are proud of what they do and have great wages and health care from day one. They love saying this from day one. And Pocan says, and yes, I do believe your workers. You don't. We hope you can enact pol and then Amazon News writes. We hope you can enact policies that get other employers to offer what we already do. <laughs> and then Dan Price, who I want to have on the show, uh, you killed so many small businesses that you're now the only employer in many towns. People don't quit because that would mean going hungry. True. Uh oh. Then they go after Warren. Uh, so, so Warren tweet, uh, wrote, I didn't write the loopholes you exploit, Amazon. Your armies of lawyers and lobbyists did, but you bet I'll fight to make you pay for your, to make you pay your fair share and fight your union busting and fight to break up big tech so you're not powerful enough to heckle senators with snotty tweets. Guys, this is how much I hate Amazon. They're making me like Elizabeth Warren. So. I know. I was about right? to say. I know. She, I mean, and yet she <laughs> persisted. Uh, this is extraordinary and revealing. One of the most powerful politicians in the United States just said she's going to break up an Amazon company that. <laughs> so that they can't criticize her anymore. They're good. I feel like, I mean, they're almost good. Um, they're trying to do like that sassy Twitter clapback yeah, clap thing, yeah. 
but it doesn't work when you're punching down like that which you I always mean, are which amazon, amazon yeah amazon right. is never not punching down right right it's like darth vader cannot yeah. do a clap back like that doesn't make any right, sense exactly, yeah and they're trying oh. to make it look like they're punching up by calling her one of the most powerful politicians right. in the united states but spoiler alert she's not also right. the thing that warren references here about the lobbyists it's like amazon has i think they recently as in like maybe four days ago got surpassed by facebook but they had the most lobbyists of any company in the country so we're talking about armies of lobbyists robert reich former um, labor secretary recently was testifying about amazon and described i think platoons of lobbyists which i think is a correct way to describe it i mean this company owns the country um the more you sort of know about how this company works at the county level about how decisions are made and how tax subsidies are granted it's like politicians serve at the behest of amazon here so i mean warren is completely correct that like they are writing these laws and they're in charge of you know what does and doesn't happen um so it just makes no sense for amazon to accuse anyone of being more powerful than them it's just simply not accurate anymore yeah maybe 20 years ago they were just a book company but that is just like right. way I out of date. forgot that <laughs>